Do you find yourself going about your day only to have disaster strike again as the washroom calls your name for the 15th time? Have you also taken antibiotics or received chemotherapy recently? You may be suffering from the effects of dysbiosis. Let's learn more. FMT and dysbiosis. Like a city, the human digestive system contains a vast and diverse population of microbes. Collectively, these microbes make up the human gut microbiota. Most of these microbes are harmless and we depend on them to keep us healthy. These microbes can send signals that regulate our immune system, which helps prevent allergies and kill bad bacteria we may have ingested. Sometimes when we get sick, we need to take antibiotics or receive chemotherapy. However, these treatments can wipe out the good bacteria along with the bad. This causes a condition called dysbiosis, the imbalance of microbes within our gut. Dysbiosis can allow bad bacteria that are always present in small amounts, such as Clostridium difficile, or C. diff, to flourish and take over. C. diff releases toxins, which cause diarrhea, in addition to a number of life-threatening complications. Each year, there are about 29,000 people who die from C. diff infections in the U.S. This is over twice the amount of people who die from AIDS yearly. Normally, a C. diff infection is treated with more antibiotics. However, in 35 to 65 percent of cases, the C. diff infection returns. This is because C. diff can form endospores, which are a tough and dormant form of bacteria that protects C. diff from antibiotics. When the antibiotics don't work, doctors have begun to turn to a unique and innovative solution, poop. Fecal microbiota transplantation, FMT for short, is a treatment in which doctors transplant fecal matter, poop, of a healthy donor into an individual with a C. diff infection or another condition associated with dysbiosis. First, potential stool donors are carefully screened for infectious, autoimmune, metabolic, and gastrointestinal diseases to ensure nothing is transmitted to the patient through the stool. The donor stool is mixed with water or saline and filtered to remove any solid particles. This solution can then be transplanted into the patient's digestive system by a colonoscopy, capsules, or a tube that runs through the nose and into the stomach. The fecal transplant contains a healthy balance of the good bacteria, which can repopulate the digestive system of the patient, reversing the dysbiosis. Evidence shows that the newly re-established good bacteria population can then compete with the C. diff for nutrients and resources. Evidence also shows that the new good bacteria can make the environment uninhabitable to the bad bacteria by producing chemicals that kill the bad bacteria and amplify the effects of our natural immune system. This causes them to die out and return balance to the gut microbiome. Microbiota. On average, FMT has an 87 to 90 percent cure rate for C. diff infections. So talk to your doctor to see if FMT is right for you. <music>